So we all know that the gallbladder is not necessary. It's an extra organ. It's not needed. It doesn't do much. It's very similar to the appendix. It just causes pain, bloating, and stones, right? Well, I severely disagree with that. If you go on Google and you type this in there, you will see probably the first five to ten pages of websites and WebMD and the authorities that will say that, hey, you don't need a gallbladder. It's okay to remove it. But let's just take a look at this for a minute. What does the gallbladder do? It stores bile. What's the significance of concentrated bile? Well, there's something called a bile cholesterol ratio. If there's low bile to the amount of cholesterol in the liver or the gallbladder, you develop stones, gallstones, or liver stones. So bile helps keep that cholesterol from forming stones and clogging things up. Because if the bile gets clogged up in the liver, it creates inflammation, fibrosis, and eventually scar tissue and cirrhosis. So bile is a detergent. It makes the fat more water soluble. It makes the fat more absorbable into your small intestines. By removing the gallbladder, you'll still make bile. It'll still trickle through to the small intestines, but it's going to be a lot less concentrated and it's going to be a lot less regulated because now we just have a tube and we don't have a certain amount of bile being squeezed into the small intestine. So you can use that to help break down fats and extract certain nutrients from the fat. All the fat-soluble vitamins, vitamin A, D, E, K1, and K2, are completely dependent on bile for their absorption. So if you start losing your bile, you're going to start losing eventually vitamin A. So that can affect your vision. And by the way, bile directly can activate the vitamin A receptor. And there is a connection between lowered bile pools in your body and your vision. Bile helps you absorb vitamin D. And because the majority of people are deficient in vitamin D, we should also be looking at this bile connection. So bile doesn't just help you break down fat and extract vitamin D, but bile can stimulate the receptors for vitamin D directly and help vitamin D work a lot better in the body, as well as convert inactive vitamin D to active vitamin D. And then we have vitamin E, which is essential for your muscles, for your heart, for sex hormones. So without enough concentrated bile, you may not absorb all the fat soluble vitamins. And it could take a while for that to show up as deficiencies. Okay, number two, constipation. Bile acts as a lubricant to allow food to go through your body. So without enough bile, you'll tend to have constipation. Number three, bile helps you extract omega-3 fatty acids from the food that you eat, specifically DHA and EPA. This is a very powerful anti-inflammatory, and this is very, very important in your brain and your retina. Number four, I already mentioned this, vitamin D and vitamin A receptors are activated by, by bile. So if you don't have enough bile, you may not get the full function of vitamin D and vitamin A. Number five, and a lot of people don't realize this, I just recently created a video on it, bile keeps bacteria out of the wrong place. In other words, it keeps bacteria, friendly and unfriendly, out of your small intestines. This is why you have roughly over 20 feet of small intestine, and at the very end of that tube, it's called the ileum, it's the last part right before it connects to the large intestine, that's where you absorb 95% of all your bile. Because the body wants to have bile go all the way through small intestine and act as an antibacterial and keep that out of the small intestine. That way you can avoid getting SIBO, small intestinal bacteria overgrowth. In that condition, it robs all your nutrients and it creates all sorts of bloating issues. All right, number six, bile is necessary for the conversion of T4 to T3. So to keep your thyroid working, you need bile. Number seven, bile regulates cholesterol. 
it will get rid of the excess amount of cholesterol it doesn't need. So it helps to purge and regulate um, excess cholesterol as well as uh, the detoxification of certain drugs and excess hormones. And number eight, if someone's deficient in bile, one of the side effects is ulcers and gastritis because the bile sometimes gets backed up into the wrong place and it can irritate the tissues. Now, there's two fascinating books that I'm basing this off of. One is Bile Acid Biology and Its Therapeutic Implications. And my favorite, Bile Salts in Health and Diseases. These are textbooks on bile salts. And the amount of data that you can get from this is fascinating. So unfortunately, it's, there seems to be a big disconnect or lack of knowledge about exactly what the gallbladder does and specifically what bile does. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Hey, we're back. With another amazing recipe. No grains, no sugar, totally keto. There's no suffering in keto. Absolutely not, Karen. And it's an immune system builder. Absolutely. You have to check this out. I think you should hurry up, watch the recipe, and make it yourself. It's just so easy to be keto. But is it simple? It's super simple. We hope you enjoy making it as much as we are enjoying eating it.